This is Chemistry for Grade 9, produced by Tigray Education Bureau, transmitted by Dimsuoyane Tigray National and FM radio satellites and social media, and also FM Makala 104.4. Hello students, our today's lesson is from Unit 4, 4.6 Geometry and 4.7 Oxidation Reduction Reaction Presented by Gurush Tesfai Well, 4.6 Geometry In your textbook, this subtopic is found on page 123. Student, after the end of this lesson, you will be able to deduce the molar ratio from balanced chemical equation, define the limiting and excess reactants in a chemical reaction, define the theoretical and actual yields. Students, what does stoichiometry mean? Explain it. Okay. Stoichiometry is the quantitative relationship between reactant and products in a balanced chemical equations. Do you explain like this? Good. The stoichiometry calculations are based on the composition of any substance in the chemical equation should be expressed by a definite formula and the law of conservation of mass must be obeyed. The main types of stoichiometric calculations are mass-mass relationship, volume-volume relationship, and mass-volume relationship. A student, let us see the mass-mass relationship first. In mass-mass relationship, there are two methods for solving such problems. The mass ratio method, the mole ratio method. Students, let us see the mass ratio method. In this types of stoichiometric calculation, the mass of one substance is determined from the given mass of the other substance using the following steps. Step 1. Write the balanced chemical equations. Step 2. Place the given mass and the required mass x above the corresponding formulas of the respective substances. Step 3. Write the total molar mass below the formula of the respective substance. Step 4. Set up the proportions. And step 5. Solve for the unknown mass x. Those are the steps we follow to apply the mass ratio method. Students, please do it again the given example in your textbook on page 125. Well, mole ratio method. In this method, 
the given mass is converted into mole and the number of mole for the required substance is calculated using the mathematical equation mole of substance is equal to given mass of substance divided by molar mass of substance the steps to solve side types of problems are the same as the previous steps except placing the coefficients as the number of mole below the corresponding formula students have you get the idea of this topic well please look at your textbook on page 128 and do exercise 4.8 do it as an assignment students let us proceed to the other point volume volume relationship in reactions involving gases the volume of gases can be determined on the principle that one mole of any gas occupies a volume of 22.4 liters at standard temperature and pressure therefore at stp that is at standard temperature and pressure the value of temperature is 0 degree celsius the value of pressure is 1 atmosphere and the value of volume is 22.4 liter the relationship between the volume of a gas and its number of molecules was explained by avogadro's law which states that volumes of different gases under the same conditions of temperature and pressure contains equal number of particles in these types of stoichiometric calculations the volume of one substance is determined from the given volume of the other substance using the following steps here again the first step is write the valence chemical equations step 2 place the given volume and the required volume x above the corresponding formula step 3 write the total molar volume below the formula step 4 set up the proportion and solve the unknown volume x those are the steps which are necessarily applied to show the volume volume relationship students please do it again the given example in your textbook on page 129 students let proceed to the next topic mass volume relationship in mass volume relationship either the mass of one substance is given and the volume of the other substance is required or the volume of one substance is given and the mass of the other one is required the steps to solve such types of problems are the same as the previous steps except putting the mass on one side and the volume on the other side of the equality sign students have you get the concept of this topic good please look at your textbook on page 130 up to 131 and do exercise 4.9 and 4.10 as an assignment limiting and excess reactants when two reactants are not in equimolar ratio in which they react the one will be the limiting reactant and the other will be in excess in a reaction is called the limiting reactant because it limits the amount of products students to identify the limiting reactant 
first determine the total number of moles of reactants from a balanced chemical equations. Since the one with smaller total number of mole is limiting reactant. Students, let us continue to define actual, theoretical, and percentage yields. Actual yield is the amount of product obtained experimentally, whereas theoretical yield is the maximum amount of product obtained stoichiometrically from a balanced chemical equations. And percentage yield is the ratio of the actual yield to the theoretical yield multiplied by 100. Students, have you get the idea of this content? Well, please look at your textbook on page 134 up to 135 and do exercises 4.11 and 4.12 as an assignment. Students, the second subtopic of our lesson is 4.7 Oxidation Reduction Reactions. In your textbook, this subtopic on page 136. Students, after the end of this lesson, you will be able to define oxidation and reduction reaction. Describe the oxidizing and reducing agent. Students, please try to define what oxidation and reduction mean. Okay, oxidation is the process in which a substance loses electron in a chemical reaction, whereas reduction is the process in which a substance gains electron in a chemical reaction. Students, do you define like this? Good. Oxidation reduction reaction or redox reaction. It is a reaction that involves transfer of electrons. It is the combination of oxidation and reduction half reactions. It is a reaction with elements that show decrease and increase in oxidation number. Students, please define what oxidation number means. Well, oxidation number is the number of electrons gained or lost when an atom combines with another atom. Students, do you define like this? Nice. Let us to see the rules for assigning oxidation numbers. Rule 1. The oxidation number of free atoms or molecules of the same atom is zero. Rule two, the oxidation number of ions of elements is the charge of the ions. Rule three, the oxidation number of oxygen in a compound is usually negative two. However, in peroxides, it is negative one. In superoxide, it is negative half. And 
in oxygen difluoride it is positive 2 rule 4 the oxidation number of hydrogen in most compounds is positive 1 but in metal hydrides it is negative 1 rule 5 the sum of the oxidation number of all atoms in neutral compound is zero. Rule six. The sum of the oxidation number of all elements in a polyatomic ions is equal to the charge on the ion. Students, Please try to define what oxidizing and reducing agents mean. Okay, oxidizing agent is a species being reduced but causes oxidation by gaining electrons the substance oxidized and it shows decrease in oxidation number reducing agent is a species being oxidized but causes reduction by supplying electrons to the substance getting reduced it loses electron and it shows increase in oxidation number. Non-redox reactions are reactions that do not involve transfer of electrons. All double displacement reactions are non-redox reactions. Students, how we get the idea of this lesson? Well, Please look at your textbook on page 140 up to 143 and do exercise 4.13 and 4.14 as an assignment. Students, this is all about today's lesson. Next week, you will learn about rate of chemical reactions and chemical equilibrium. Thank you, student. Until that, goodbye.